Okay, one of the things I really liked about White Boy Rick was that it's not your typical gangster movie that necessarily glamorizes it. And I think what I really liked about your portrayal of, of one of the Curry brothers is that you're not the two-dimensional gangster. You have your bad side, but there's something very deeply human about him. And is mm -hmm. that something that you found really is, 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 is something that's kind of important for Hollywood to do to kind of show that these people aren't necessarily the monsters that Hollywood's depicted them as, that they're human, they're not good people necessarily, but they're human after all? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, yes is the short answer, but the, yes. the, the more defined answer would be uh, we need to. Yeah. Because when, when we give the two dimension gangster, we give the two dimension good guy, mm -hmm. it, it, it makes it dangerous. It, 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 it allows us to judge instead of be in conversation with something. Sure. You know, if I have to take it for the crickets in the straights, okay, he is a dope dealer, but he's also a very good provider. He's also sure. a very good friend. He's also a very good brother. You know, he also has lifted up his little, his little group of people. He's lifted them up f uh, uh, forward and moved them forward, mm -hmm. you know, upward mobility in a way. That's a good thing, yeah. you know. Um, that's important. Well, and you're a charismatic guy, too, and in the movie you're a charismatic guy, and I think they kind of show that maybe if he had had different opportunities, who's to say where he might have gone, right? Do you think that's a thing that kind of the movie evokes pretty well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're killing this, man. Yeah, like, absolutely. Oh, <laughs> You know, like the American dream, yeah. right? And the American dream is, is, is a metaphor and everyone's trying to find a way to make it, you know? Um, but where are the tools, you know? And everybody has to use the tools they have. Some people, some demographics get education, yeah. they get a legacy, they get a head start, if you feel what I'm saying. Others have different, different, uh, different opportunities and have to make their way their own way, you sure. know? Um, and the Curry brothers didn't have some things. You know, what they did have was the dope game and hustle. And, sure. and smarts and and brawn, you know, they had that and they made the best they could with that, you know. Uh, so yeah, if if Johnny Curry and the Curry brothers had the opportunity to, you know, go to Harvard Harvard Law or or, or biz, Harvard Business School, look out. Yeah. You know, it would have been a different game for sure. What do you think the movie ultimately says about the war on drugs, though? Because, I mean, the idea for me, I come, came out of it just thinking of how futile it is and how ridiculous some of the sentences are. Right. Did you have any contact with the actual Curry brothers? I think they're still around and out of jail. They are. They are. That's true. Um, it's funny in this day and age, contact is so strange, right? Like, yeah. my contact with them, uh, with Johnny, with Little yeah. Man, was up until September, up until the day we premiered, I hadn't spoken to him. Sure. Uh, but the contact I had was YouTube, you know, a few uh, like family clips that were online, you yeah. know. Um, so yeah, I mean that was that was the contact wow. with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, uh, cool. Well, I mean, the last one I wanted to ask you is basically what I really liked about the movie is that it's kind of divided into two parts, where the first half shows kind of the exhilaration of that life, which I imagine is exhilarating at yeah. times, but then the cost in the second half. Do you find that that's something that is going to be important for people to see, that it's not necessarily kind of the glamorized version that maybe we have of the game, like like something like Scarface would give us necessarily? Right, right, right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a comic book. No, it's not. It's real life. Like, that's yeah. that's the that's the thing about the, the film. Like, we allow you to uh, experience it. And when you experience something, you know, you take a drink, it's good. You like the drink. Yeah. You take a puff, something, it's good. You like it. You do something, oh, it's good. You get a dopamine hit. But there's consequences. Sure. And that's the point of the story, that there's consequences. For everybody, the characters do things, and there's consequences to their lives, right? The penal system does something, mm -hmm. and this film is the consequence of that. Yeah. And hopefully, as Rich, Richie learns things, Ricky learns things, Johnny learns things, so will the system. Sure. You know, there are, there's always consequences, and well, how we move from those consequences is what kind of moves us as a people forward. Well, that was awesome. Thank you so much. No for doubt. Time. How come we stay, Dad? Yeah. Detroit. Son, lion don't leave the Serengeti. And besides, it's gonna be our year, I can feel it. You realize you're the worst father ever. I'm not gonna let you ruin your life, Don. No drugs in the house. Dad! Everything's fine. Not fine. You're fine, Ma's fine. I Don, hate you. you're fine. I'm gonna let her talk to you. I'm going to the goddamn house. Ray, stay out of it. Put some clothes on, will ya? We're going for custard. Y'all know who my dad is, right? Y'all know what he saw? Y'all yeah, know your broke ass dad. <laughs> what you said your name was? Brett. Hey, white boy Rick. He got some balls coming here like he did. You should come out of skating rail sometime. But not like this. Or like he robbed the Kmart or something. 
You good, Rick. You wanna move weight? You come to me. My dad finds this, he'll kick my ass. Just make sure he doesn't find it then. Break it down, the dime rocks. Get yourself a crew and offload it before long people know you're legit. It's Ricky! He won! You're gonna get in too deep. They're never gonna let you out. Hook? I don't know. Eight pounds, 14 ounces. Such a way you were born. First time I looked in your eyes, I knew you were gonna be bigger than me. I knew your life was gonna be bigger than mine. Look at this, Dad. Look how we're living. Let's hustle big. I know the players, but and I know the game. Hey, come on, Dad. I can do this. But we can do this. We can fix our lives and be a family again. What do you say? Would you believe a 15-year-old kid was working for the federal government? But he was. Whoa! Whoa! Hey. What? You all got him? 